Okay, hi everybody, it's BombKai922. Um, Captain Earth. Captain Earth. I just uh, uploaded a few. I'm actually surprised. Um, the amount of views on a few things. Like, Kenichi got a lot. A hundred views really quickly. Probably because it's Jackson. People were just. Fuck over. Anyway, Captain Earth. Uh, this was a good episode, I have to say. I'm gonna give this a four and a half out of five. Now, Unlike these other pieces of shit. Yeah, they're pieces of shit. I'm sorry. These are the motherfuckers. That pink bitch. Uh, Moko or Coco, whatever the fuck her name is. She should go to get her, her tits sucked out. I, 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 I give no fucks. I don't give no fucks. She's a bitch. And his, her boyfriend's a bitch, too. And uh, the casino guy. Uh, Sin, whatever his name is. All those guys can eat shit and die. But... But, but, Baku, he's my man. He's probably the only Kilt Gang who, of the Kilt Gangs who've been awakened, who I actually like. Everyone else can eat a bag of dicks. Yeah. Everyone else are butt cheeks compared to him. As, that's just me. That's just me. So yeah, this was, um, like I said, Captain Earth. Uh, episode 13, My Town. Now, essentially what happens in this episode is we find out interesting things about... Because as you know, Baku came from uh, this this underground system of, of, of children that were in prisons. Jails. Yeah, prisoned uh, children. And this girl and her father... They picked him out, out of this, you know, and they, he was trained to fight in underground fights, fights, and a tournament. And what happens is we find out a few things. We find out he has this ability. This is his, we also find out something interesting, singularity, apparently. Uh, singularities in this show are being known as something that, occurs, their power that occurs. Um, the Not only does the Kilt Gangs, Design Children do this, but also like Daichi and um, Tepe, they can do that with their guns. So, we find that out. And basically we also find out is, which is kind of confusing, the guy last week who supposedly came back to life, well, Get an explanation about that. And also, we find out something interesting about the daughter of the father of, you know, who, who took in Pak, uh, Baku. So, we find out as well. Now, basically, backstory going on with him and her, and he pairs the picture of her mother, and it was a trick that he found out to do. And there's this scene where Daichi encounters him and saying, like, oh, this is unauthorized and shit. And he's like, no, I'm trying to find the bathroom. You know, and saying that he says to, Daichi says to him in the, the corridor, uh, you're strong. And he says, oh, the only reason, he, he then he brings up, I have something to protect. So that's basically what he states. And, you know, he goes up and he has his fight. And what happens is he gets ambushed by that son of a bitch who didn't die last week. It was this funny scene with the guy, you know, um, Sin Zin. He's like, didn't you die? <laughs> like, aren't you supposed to be dead? <laughs> but what we find out is that apparently the, fa the, the daughter... Who Baku is is you know t very close to. He saved them. He brought them back to life. No, I'm not joking around. He actually did that shit. Cause what happened was they were on this ship, and the daughter wanted to kill everyone on the ship, including herself. And he did. 
it's this weird thing that he does. He does this. And like his hand in between his hands turn green and he like goes back to where it was. Like it never happened. So and basically what happens is she gets kidnapped by Jesse and James. Why don't you go blow each other in the back? Um and they basically telling him, oh, join our cause and everything else and, you know, and so on and so forth. And he basically, and here's another reason why I like Baku. He's not like these other cunts or bastards. He doesn't lose himself. He doesn't act like a fucking sociopath or psychopath. He doesn't act like he wants to kill everyone with, with, with daggers. No, he actually retains, um, his personality. You know, like how the casino Zin was like, hey, I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't act. Well, he kind of does, but not to the extent that they do, because we find out later. So what ends up happening is the power he used, because she gets shot by that immortal motherfucker who isn't immortal anymore. <laughs> they all dissipate. Apparently, because I, I, and that, that part kind of confused me. I don't know how that worked. Like, it, it must be when he was awakened, the power dissipate, and they all just vanished. You know? And she disappeared, so that, I guess, was the reason for him going to fight for them. Because he lost his reason. Um, you know, he lost his, the person he loved the most, protect. So, what ends on happening, and this was stupid, this part pissed me off, um, Raku, where his name is, just like, got a weird dig, 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 he's like, like, get, get a fucking life, James, go, 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 go to Team Rocket and, uh, and catch, a uh, Onyx, I'm sorry, man, he, that guy pisses me off, he, he's just, he's just a typical douchebag, oh, I don't, I, I'm gonna throw this on top of Daichi's head. I killed your father. I killed your father. Come on. Jump the fuck off. But basically Daichi fights him in the robots. And Daichi notices that he's not the same. Obviously. Uh, Baku. Because he lost his, you know, that he was protecting. Now, well, obviously Daichi wins. He defeats him. He goes with them, of course, because, like, he's lost everything. And, and this was actually kind of, I, don't know, I found it touching in a way and kind of sad. He, um, that, that stupid bitch could be, oh, what's this? He's like, don't touch that. And I was like, yeah, bitch, get back in the kitchen. Get, get the fuck out of here. Stupid slut. Jesus. Um, and he says, my town, at the end of the episode. I thought that was kind of touching. And it seems like I, I had high hopes for Baku. I thought I thought he was going to join Daichi. But apparently that's not going to happen. But, but, still like him. He's a whole lot better than the others. Because the others don't like them at all. Their personality is is too, like, you know. And and you've been talking to hockey about this. Yeah, the, the, how the f is Daichi? There's only two people who can fight them: Daichi and Tepe. No one else can fight them. So how in the hell are they gonna beat these people? How do you beat them? Counting, counting, okay, you got, you got, um, let me just go, list the names. you got, um, you got a few people here, like, how are they supposed to fight them? They've got, you've got, um, uh, let me see, I'm trying to look through, um, we have Baku, which he's not, you know. Zin, we have Zin. We've got 
Ronmamok, I think his name was. You know? And then there's the pink haired girl. And then there's the one that was that was shown like a couple of episodes ago. The one that was really fast, the Tepe Foy. That's four people. That's four people. That's not including Baku. That's five. What if they all attack the plant at the same time? You're boned. They're boned. They're fucking boned. You know, it's... Of course, we haven't... And, and to that extent, we haven't seen them. The last time we saw them fighting in space, obviously, and I'll just bring this up, was when Tepe fought them. But it was just one of them. So, you know? But, I mean, they're, they're boned. They're boned. Now, as far as the whole singularity thing is concerned, I think... That's how they affect people. How, you know... I, I don't think the whole immortality thing, like that guy last week, that doesn't apply. Because he obviously dissipated um, in this episode. So I'm thinking it's more along the lines that... I suppose if they were to do this... If that guy were to do the same thing to somebody else, they would, I guess, be more. But... I think it's... Don't, but I don't think it applies. I think it's just... That he was brought back by Baku. He brought over everyone who died in that boat um, blowing up back. And, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much the story. I mean, this was a good episode, like I said, four and a half out of five. I just, I feel, I feel those villains of the Kilt Gangs, they're just, I'm not going to say generic, but they're just fucking annoying. And, and they're too cocky for their own good. And they think they're hot shit because, oh, we outnumbered them. You know, but we'll wait and see what happens. Right now, Baku is the best. Everyone else on that boat, every one of the other kill gangs, they are pieces of shit. That is the way I look at it. They're pieces of shit. The slutty bitch, the blue-haired idiot, and Zin. And that other one. But, you know. It's just me. But, uh, yeah, just me, Bonkai 22 See you guys later. Also, I like how they do this. How each designer child has, like, a sad kind of story going on. Baku really had a sad story. This, this was pretty sad. This was pretty sad. Um, also, next week, it seems like it's going to be um, a beach episode. <laughs> But something bad happens. So this should be very interesting. So yeah, I'm Balkan I22, and I will catch you guys later. Baku for the win.